the good news is we finally got some positive news about the van the van has been put all back together uh, I kind of ran out of day uh, all that's left to do I think tomorrow is to put uh, to fill the fluids up the transmission fluid and test drive it but it's all back together so hopefully tomorrow morning sometime we'll uh, after we've had a chance to do all that we'll get a phone call to go over and finally pick the van up fingers crossed that the test drive goes okay the mechanical test drive it check it for leaks make sure it's operating properly and then if he says it's good to go then the, the owner test drives it make sure it's uh satisfies him as well so let's just hope that all goes well okay and i gotta run an errand real quick but uh my bike rack did finally come in uh for the uh, fiesta but uh, we'll get back to that all right i had to make sure the back was cleaned out I, uh, i'm trying this for the first time ever the walmart pickup thing so um the app's pretty handy uh yeah i decided to get some groceries and stuff uh, just needed them in the coachman and uh if the van's ready tomorrow i need to stock up a few things in the van so uh get this out of the way i'm ready to throw that van together tomorrow i really am well, let's see and once you get here you put in your uh, on the app you put in your uh number nine the color of your vehicle and uh wow here it is already okay all right that went pretty well uh bella food <laughs> and uh, uh some paper products some other you know buns and you know just you know stuff yes i remember to get dog food okay your favorite kind i remembered all right with that little errand out of the way I want to get back to this bike rack that's going on the back of the car. Uh, last video, there were concerns about how much weight I was putting on the back of the car. Uh, yeah, one comment was, I hope you're not planning on towing anything with that car. Not even a bike. <laughs> what? Hang on here a minute. That's actually, that's kind of crazy actually. What, not even a bicycle. Getting me? Uh, the weight rating for this car is, hey, what are you doing in here, what are you, get back, okay, right here on the door tag, the combined weight of occupants and cargo should never exceed 827 pounds, okay, uh, passengers, total, of, capable, uh, rated to haul, five passengers, two, two in the front, up to three in the back, uh, it's cargo and uh, yeah somehow I just don't think uh, all this hardware in the bike is going to come up to exceed 827 pounds okay now the new hitch okay the new class 1 hitch is uh, all that uh, involved there was 29 pounds The bike rack, uh, the shipping weight, probably including the cardboard, <laughs> is 18.8 uh, .8 pounds. Uh, unless my bike is really, really heavy, I think we're going to be okay. I went ahead and got this out of the way. That's a digital bathroom scale. I'll, uh, I'll get back to that in a second. I just wanted to, before I forgot to do it, I weighed myself and then. I weighed myself with the bike. I did the math, subtracted one from the other. Uh, my uh, Diamondback, my DB Edgewood Diamondback, and I got down down at Dick's there a few years ago, quite a few years ago, only weighs 37 pounds. It is a aluminum 6061 heat treated aluminum frame. Uh, the lightweight wheels and stuff, uh, aluminum wheels. I think they're not, yeah, they're not steel. Uh, it's a pretty lightweight bike. So let's add all that up. If the uh, the hitch that I installed permanently on the car was uh, 29 pounds, right? Plus uh, the bike rack is, uh, we'll call it 18 pounds. Uh, it's uh, 47, okay. Uh, plus a uh, 37 pound bike, 84 pounds. 
So and that hitch is rated for 150 pound tongue weight. We're well under it. Um, just barely over half the capacity of that rack. So, uh, and that's just 84 pounds is just not a lot for it. And that's like putting a, you know, that's like putting a pretty small person. And there's a passenger, not five, you know, not five people plus cargo at 108. Uh, oh, that's about a tenth. Uh, maximum was 100, uh, 827 pounds or 840. That's just over one tenth of what the car is. Uh, 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 oh, well, there's me too. So, okay, we'll call it. We're at a quarter, maybe roughly. Okay, the car is uh, not overly taxed. Okay. Oh, and I did find this on Amazon. Uh, it's a model ZN520. It's, uh, let's, let's get it out of here. Uh, I know there's a adap an adapter in here that we're not even using, so it's actually going to be a little bit lighter than 18.8 .8 pounds. I think that is including the... Where is it here? Oh, there we go. Uh, it's in here somewhere. All right, this is the part that goes in the, the first part that goes in the back of the car. I think there's gonna be some assembly required. Oh, uh, this is the adapter. I'm actually gonna take this, take this uh, screw out of here and slide this off. This is the two, the two, uh, the two inch by two inch for, so you can use this in a class three hitch. Um, I'm probably gonna hang on to this because, you know, uh, I couldn't use the bike rack in the van or the RV with this adapter. But when this comes off of here, it's just a little uh, inch and a quarter thing for the class one hitch. So uh, I'm gonna need to take that off of there. And what's this thing? I, mean, I think this is one of those kind of fold, it'll fold down. Uh, oh, you'll see, let me, let me get into this a little farther. Oops, don't forget to add this. Okay, this is gonna be on there too. I bought a master uh, a master lock set of uh, the hitch pin uh, locks. So uh, this particular comes as a set. You can use it for the five eighths pins or the uh, smaller half inch pin, is which this uh, class one this class one hookup takes as a half inch the half inch pin. So we'll be using that. So I better put quarter pound another quarter pound on for this, I guess. All right, here's a pretty nice feature of this is a, uh, this will pivot down when this is in the back of the car. Uh, I did take the adapter off for the two inch for the class three hitch and uh, so that's all ready to go in the car. And it did provide a bolt uh, for that, but we have the locking pin now, so we don't need that piece. Um, but they have, when this is in the car, okay, there's a bolt that goes down the bottom part, but the second part, uh, up here, so it'll pivot on that bolt. They'll have a, uh, you can pull that pin and this will pivot down and uh, or back up as you need to. Maybe it's easier to get the bikes on and off, don't know. Or to uh, uh, pull it down a little bit so you can open up the hatch or the trunk of your car. Okay, I'm just put a wrench on there. It's going with my little rechargeable impact today okay and that does have the nylocks the nylon uh, self-locking nuts called nylocks okay so we can go ahead and pin that and uh it's nicer the lanyard on here to keep from uh, losing it or dropping it. Just gonna clip it around this other side on the pin. And it's locked on there. All right, okay, I guess that's like step one of assembly, huh? And then the other part of that's gonna be these two, where are they at? These two bolts will go this will go up in here okay put them two bolts in it i think it's gonna be about done oh this other part pivots too but let me get this other part together
Well, when I put that on there, it suddenly got top heavy and wanted to fall over on me. So we laid it down. I'm just gonna tighten them up real quick. And I went and pulled the pin and folded that out of the way for now. So we're just gonna zing them in real um, tight here real quick. Done. I'm gonna get this plastic off here. I think it's about ready to go in the car. All right, I went and uh, got this out of the package. Forgot they did uh, supply an extra bolt for, you know, the idea was uh, just to bolt them. Uh, didn't have pins, whatever. Although this one didn't come with a knot, unless I misplaced it. I mean, it's definitely not the same size as that one. So uh, anyway, I've been for the five eighths. I've been for the half inch. Uh, depending on what you're using, with a class three or a class one. Class one's the half inch. I think we're good to go there. That's it. Look at that hole at. Right about there. Right about there. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Would I miss that? Oh, wait a minute. That's, that's the. All right, there it is. Sometimes the things don't go together because of, like, when they painted it, <laughs> you know, the uh, too much paint in there. But well, it's plenty long enough. All right, let's put this on. That's it. She's locked. Now nothing is uh, theft proof, obviously. Uh, yeah, the right tools. Wouldn't take much to get that off of there, but it, uh, it'll slow some people down at least. Now, I don't know if my hatch will open with it just like that or not. No, no way, no way. So I could pull this pin and uh, and pull this back some, get in and out of the hatch back, and then put it back up and repin it. So uh, well, that's a good feature to have, I suppose. This is, uh, I guess I need to put the pin in that. And I did find the stabilizer. I, I mentioned that in the last video or not. There's a stabilizer here where you can tie off. Uh, just so this thing's not flexing and as much and you know bouncing good on the road. There's a stabilizer you can just it's a strap, it's just a one-inch thin, it's a thin, yeah, it's a thin one-inch wide strap that you can just with a little hook on it, a little flat hook, you can hook it up you know, on your car somewhere and just tighten it up and take some of the pressure off of that or some of the play. I did find that online, but it's not here yet. I don't... And I need to look too, actually. There's a, I mean, look at this. <laughs> there is a clamp that you can put on where this goes in the receiver. Uh, there's a type of clamp that goes here that holds that tight so you don't get that, it takes that play out of there. So I need to get that ordered. Um, um, I'm not gonna have my bike back here. Doing it. I don't know why they just don't include it in the kit. Really? Um, who wants to have their stuff flopping around back here? Anyway, so it has these two things for the top bar. Some bars are a little bit of an angle, so I guess that allows to align with the, uh, the angle of your bar. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so we're we're there. And I'll also put my bike in on the second one. The closer everything is to the car, the, the better, the less leverage it has. Hanging out here, then it just has more. Further out it is, the more leverage it is. So, uh, well, that's where we're at with it anyway. Now, as far as the e-bike goes, uh, it doesn't have that crossbar uh, for that type of rack. And what I ran into, doing research, different types of back, uh, bike racks, the type that has the... Uh, call them like saddles for the, the tires to actually sit in uh and most all bike rack i've never seen a bike rack for just a single bike so um it would be for two for two up um so by the time it has those the um two saddles for two bikes 
there and everything. That's a total of four plus the cross members that support them and all that. That rack's gonna be a little bit heavier, obviously, with more uh, more material used to make it. Um, and I've only ever seen them with that two inch uh, for the class three thing. So I'd have to buy an adapter. So you got that more weight. It's hanging out further. Uh, I think it's just gonna be pushing the limits of, uh, of, of what I want to do here with that car. So the e-bike's probably gonna be out of the question unless I could manufacture, I can fabricate. We got steels, we got square tubing, round tubing, we got flats, we got angle iron, welders. Uh, I've customized my other racks, uh, similar, similar to this one. This one has not been modified in any sort of way, but you know the one on the back of the Coachman is. Um, I could make a single, and just watch what materials I use and probably be okay. I know that battery uh, would have to come out. That, them batteries are heavy. I'd take that battery out and I'd do the same thing like I did with the other bike. Weigh what's left. I could throw the battery up in the back seat or something or a back in the cargo area. Uh, see how much that bike weighs. See about how much, figure out about uh, how much material I need to do that. I could probably make the e-bike work. It'd just be getting cutting it a little bit close. Nothing. Nothing. And by cutting it close, I mean as far as the the uh, the hitch is concerned, not the car. The car has plenty of room to haul more stuff, but that hitch is only rated for 150 pound tongue weight. Okay, just wanted to touch on that again for a second. Uh, I don't know how much this is going to be seen on regular videos. This is more of a personal, my time sort of thing. Uh, there's just gonna be times where just kind of back here at the garage there are several uh local rail to trail systems around here you know and there's sometimes there's nice mornings or nice evenings where i wouldn't mind throwing my pedal bike on the uh on the back of the fiesta and just going down the road and taking a um you know go out a couple miles and back just for some exercise fresh air um you know without bella bella's not one of them dogs that's gonna run alongside the bike like on a leash uh if it was a wide open space like out in the desert or there's plenty of room you don't have to worry about other people you know it's not a public designated trail it's just wide open space out there she loves to run we can go on the bikes uh, that we're not tethered with a with a leash okay these public rails the trails dogs or, dogs are supposed to be leashed so I'm, I'm not gonna be trying to ride a bike and have her you know maybe see a squirrel or a rabbit and take off yank me you know me go down her her and i possibly both getting hurt uh, she's just not i'm just not gonna try it you know could probably train her to do it but how many falls until she gets the idea and how hurt do we have to both get before she gets it and we get good at it right so we're just not gonna go there um so it's and obviously if we're out in the van that's another story um so yeah, and the car shall stay back here if we're just local. I can go out for an hour or so and, and ride a bit. Um, uh, or for quite a while, actually. But um, if we're out and about in the in the coachman or the van, which both have air conditioning, um, you know, I could leave the air conditioner running in the van. I can be gone for, you know, quite a while. Um, you know, and, and take the e-bike. I can take either bike. But I have, it's different when I'm here. Um, I just feel like taking my pedal bike out somewhere local. Um, that's really all that's for. If I really wanted to take the e-bike bad enough in the Fiesta, it is, it is foldable. I might be able to put it actually in the back. If I fold the back seats forward in that cargo area, I haven't tried that yet, but that might be an option too. Um, but that's kind of where I'm at with the figuring this all out. Um, what my options are with the little car. <laughs> I don't want to over. I don't want to push it and you know mess anything up. And I got to wait for that. I got to find that clamp to put on the hitch and to get that strap so the things are secure back there. So I'm not ready to go yet anyway. And with the van probably being ready tomorrow, uh, this is all probably gonna get set um, aside for now anyway. And I'll go pedal biking with the Fiesta some other day. So we kind of running out of time here. Got to get on with the van stuff. And this is really the only. Uh... And this is really the first bike rack I've ever owned besides that one. I've had, I've had, I shouldn't have said that quite like that. Somewhere I have one. Oh yeah, it's up here. 
it's up here somewhere yeah it's this big old clunky thing uh, you know it holds two bikes but uh they don't have the nice clamps like modern ones do i guess it's partly homemade and it does only go in a two inch a uh, two inch receiver uh so this has been some i i think i got this at a garage sale actually <laughs> okay uh so as far as shopping putting together something that works in a little old car um it's it's, it's taking some research and see what's available the different styles and capacities and to do it all safely right safely safety first snacks second okay and there it is it's on there yeah it's, it's all kind of at an angle because this crossbar is at an angle on the frame if this crossbar had been a little bit higher if it had been a straight across uh straight across crossbar my whole bike would have sat more level but uh that's probably why you see a lot of bikes all cockeyed on the back of you know, different vehicles just the, because of the design of the frame uh, anyway i had to at least put it up there and see what it looks like uh it's gonna work i suppose yeah, i changed it up a little bit that looks uh that looks better that's more level i forgot what i had to do when i uh how i put that on the other old bike rack and this works better on the new on this newer bike rack because um I went, well what i did was instead of just going off this top bar um instead of the side being so low i raised it up if i put it this on the bottom bar i still stay on the top bar here on this one but the bottom bar here that lifts it up some looks pretty level and what's nice is these things because these pivot when you set the bike on there they'll self-align with the frame so uh that's looking better and i did order i do have those uh, parts coming not only did i find them they are actually ordered the uh, support strap and the uh the little the clamp for the bottom so this isn't you know back here doing back here doing this when i'm driving So it is the next morning. <laughs> um, today might be the day. I hope to get the call after a while that the van is ready. It's gonna be a busy day if it is getting it all, everything back in it and hooked back up and outfitted and ready to ready to go. Hmm. Yeah, busy day probably. Let's hope so, huh? I'll be back soon. We will. Me and Bella. I'll see you then.